In this video, I will show you an example of superposition theorem. Find the current through 30 ohm resistor using superposition principle. See, this is our 30 ohm resistor and I have to calculate the current through this 30 ohm resistor for this circuit using superposition principle. Let's say the current that will be flowing through this 30 ohm resistor, I will denote that current with I naught. If I want to calculate the current through this 30 ohm resistor using superposition theorem, I have to keep the current source and the voltage source active separately. That means once I will keep the 6 volt source active. If there are any other voltage sources in the circuit, I will replace them with a short circuit. If we have any other current sources in the circuit, we will replace them with an open circuit. Another time, I will keep the 2 ampere current source active. In that case, voltage sources will be replaced by short circuit and current sources will be replaced by open circuit. So, let's say at first I will keep this 6 volt source active. In that case, I will replace this 2 ampere current source with an open circuit. That means I can remove this 2 ampere current source from our network. Therefore, our circuit will look like this. If I keep 6 volt source active, our circuit will look like this. See, I have replaced the current source with an open circuit. Now, I have to calculate the current through this 30 ohm resistor. Let's say I denote that current with I naught prime. At first, you have to understand what will be the direction of this I naught prime. See, the 6 volt source will supply current in this direction and it will divide into two portion. One will go in this direction and another will go in this direction. So, our I naught prime will be in this direction and you will see this I naught prime will be a fraction of total current. The total current that means the current that is supplied by the source. So, to calculate I naught prime at first I will have to calculate I total or the total supply current. To calculate total supply current, I have to know the value of voltage across this terminal and this terminal and I have to know the value of equivalent resistance with respect to this terminal and this terminal and that will be total resistance of this circuit Vt divided by Rt. We will calculate Rt separately with respect to this terminal and this terminals. Now look at this terminal and this terminal. You will see this 30 ohm and this 10 ohm resistances are connected in series. So this branch will have a resistance of 40 ohm and that 40 ohm resistance will be in parallel with this 5 ohm resistor and their equivalent parallel resistance will be in series with this 20 ohm. That means I can write it like this. Twenty plus five into forty divided by five plus forty, which will be equal to twenty plus four point four four, which will be equal to twenty four point four four. Our supply voltage is six volt, and our resistance is twenty four point four four. Ohm. So, our current will be equal to 6 divided by 24.44 will be equal to 0 0.2454 ampere which will be equal, nearly equal to 245.4 milli ampere and this will be our total current. See up to this point I will get our total current IT. Here it will divide into two portion. One will go in this branch and another will go in this branch. So our I naught will be equal to 5 divided by 5 plus 40 into 245.4 milli ampere which will be equal to 27.27 milli 
ampere here I have used our special current divider rule when we have two resistances connected in parallel let's say this branch has a resistance let's say this branch has a resistance of R1 and this branch has a resistance of R2 now if I want to calculate the current through this R1 let's say I denote that with I1 I will take the resistance of opposite branch that means R2 divided by the total branch resistances R1 plus R2 into the value of total supply current IS let's say this formula is used in this equation and our I0 will be flowing from right to left the direction is important because depending upon the direction finally we will either add them up or subtract them after keeping the 6 volt source active I will keep this 2 ampere current source active in that case I will replace this voltage source with a short circuit after replacing the 6 volt source with a short circuit you will see our circuit will look like this now with this kind of circuit structure it is looking complicated and for 2 ampere current source the current that will be flowing through this 30 ohm resistor I will denote that current with I naught double prime at first I will draw a simplified structure of this circuit let's say this is our A terminal this will be our A terminal this will be our A terminal this will be our A terminal our terminals will be continued as long as we don't encounter any resistor this will be our B terminal this will be our C terminal now by using these points I will draw a more simplified circuit structure let's say this is our a point this is our C point and this is our B point see from B to A I will encounter a current source of 2 ampere and the direction of current source will be towards this A terminal from this A to B terminal I will encounter a resistance of 10 ohm from A to B terminal I will have a resistance of 10 ohm from this A to C terminal I will encounter a resistance of 5 ohm and from this A to C terminal I will encounter a resistance of 20 ohm A to C terminal I will encounter a resistance of 20 ohm from this A to C terminal I will see a resistance of 5 ohm A to C I will get a resistance of 5 ohm from the C to B terminal I will get a resistance of 30 ohm and I have to calculate the current through this 30 ohm now what will be the direction of this I naught double prime see this source is supplying current at this terminal one will go in this direction and another portion will go in this direction that portion will divide into two portions one will go in this direction and another will go in this direction at this point both of them will get combined and they will flow in this direction so our I naught double prime will be in this direction that means from C terminal towards B terminal from C terminal towards B terminal so our I naught double prime will be in this direction so this is the neat sketch of our circuit here you will see I have to calculate the current through this 30 ohm resistor in the original circuit you will see our I naught double prime will be flowing from C to B that means I naught double prime will be flowing in this direction you can show I naught double prime in downward direction from point C to point B now you will see this 2 ampere current source will supply a current of 2 ampere at this point one will go in this direction and another will go in this direction and this current will divide into two portion one will go in this direction another will go in this direction and they will get combined at this C point and 
this same current will flow through this 30 ohm resistor that means this i not double prime will be the current that is flowing in this total branch okay so to calculate the i not double prime i can reduce the branch that means i can reduce this total branch into a single resistor with respect to these two terminal this 20 ohm and this 5 ohm resistances are in parallel their equivalent parallel resistance will be equal to 4 ohm and that 4 ohm will be in series with this 30 ohm so this branch resistance will be 34 ohm and the current that will be flowing through this branch will be our i not double prime because the same current that is entering at this branch will be flowing through this 30 ohm resistor so i can denote this current with i not double prime i not double prime will be equal to 10 divided by 10 plus 34 into 2 which will be equal to 4 5 4 point 5 4 milli ampere so our i not double prime will be equal to 454.54 milliampere and it is flowing in this direction from right to left and previously i have shown you i not prime will be equal to 27.27 milliampere and this i not prime will be flowing from right to left that means both of the currents are flowing in the same direction so by using superposition principle we can calculate total current i naught by adding the two currents up i naught prime plus i naught double prime this i naught will be in this direction from right to left 27.27 plus 4.5 4.54 milli ampere which will be equal to 481.81 milli ampere okay so this is the current that will be flowing through 30 ohm resistor for the given circuit now let me run the simulation to verify my circuit analysis when we will have both 6 volt source and 2 ampere current source you will see that total current that will be flowing through this 30 ohm resistor is equal to 482 milliampere 482 milliampere and the current is flowing from right to left that means our current will be flowing in this direction while applying superposition i will keep each of the independent sources active separately so let's say at first i will keep this 6 volt source active in that case i will replace this current source with an open circuit that means i can i will remove this current source from our given network in that case you will see the current that will be flowing through this 30 ohm resistor for this 6 volt source will be equal to 27.3 milliampere and that current will be flowing from right to left see this indicates that that current is flowing in this direction after that i will keep this 2 ampere current source active when i will keep this 2 ampere current source active i will replace this voltage source with a short circuit see i have replaced the voltage source with a short circuit now look our current for this 2 ampere current source through this 30 ohm resistor will be equal to 455 milli ampere okay and that current is flowing from right to left see this indicates that current is flowing in this direction that's it thank you